Hey, it's April from the Noble Garden, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about my growing rack. So, I do have a greenhouse. Unfortunately, we were not able to move it, um, so I'm about to start my seedlings inside, which I've done most of my years. Last year was the first year with the greenhouse, so I have a lot to still learn with the greenhouse. So, I cannot say I'm 100% sad that I'm having to do this indoors. However, as you can see, because we moved and we had nowhere to put things, my grow rack contains stuff that it does not belong. So I'm going to clean this off and we're going to set the grow lights back up. So guys, I use shop lights. I've used them for the last three years and they've been successful for me. I know sometimes you can catch actual grow lights on sale. You just have to look out for them. I bought these at Walmart. I can um, show you guys a picture of what I got. And I know that when these lights go out, I can replace them possibly with grow lights. Um, but these have worked for me the last three years, so I just keep using them. I do double them because um, to make sure I get the whole tray. And so, and you see that I have them every other. And the reason why is, is at some point the plants get so big that I end up taking these off the hooks and just laying them on here. And so then the plants are here and the lights are here. So that's why you see it like that. Um, so let me go ahead and put the rest of these lights up for you guys. go and I do need to buy one more light and I think I can actually buy three more lights and get another row down there in the bottom I'll have to make sure that it works right but the next thing in my steps of preparing this is I do need to get out some seed trays to figure out exactly how many plants I can put under here because that's gonna matter too I don't want to over plant and not have enough room on this grow rack um, and then um, the other thing is, is you'll notice these are on chains and that is so that as the plants get bigger, so as they're smaller, you want to start out low. Um, and I'll make another video when I start my season, we'll go over this a lot more. But you want to start out low, so I put them on chains so I can gradually move them up. And then once the plants are way too big, then I take the chains off and I lay the lights here and have the plants below. And that's why I do lights every other, okay? So this is just the beginning. I wanted to show you kind of how my setup goes. I am thinking about writing up you guys a document that goes over which seeds I'm starting when, and I'll link that in the description of this video. Try to kind of help you guys see what I'm doing. You do have to remember everyone's uh, growing season, growing zones, weather is different. So you do need to look up your information for your weather. Um, I'll link below where I get my garden zone information from and you can always do it, look it up by zip code. You can always just go on Google and Google growing zone four and put your city and state in, put your zip code in and it should pull it up. Um, however, I'll leave you guys some documents in the description. I do want to thank you for watching my videos and remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.